Hello and welcome back for another video. So today I'm going to be showing you some photos that I recently shot with my Mamiya Flex and some Cine Still 400D and 120. It's a medium format camera and I wanted to do a little self portrait session at home to kind of spark the creative vibes and just start off 2023 with um, something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I've been holding off on, and that is some self-portraits. Now, this isn't the easiest camera to do self-portraits on, manual focus. It's really completely something new to me when it comes to shooting um, anything fast. So F2.8, F4, um, I've not shot this camera at anything faster than f8 because typically i'm outside so one thing i want to state before we get into the b-roll and photos is i know some of these are out of focus a good amount of them came out of focus um i would say shooting at f 2.8 or f4 is going to be a lot tougher hitting that focus and then i also was trying to pre-focus um, where I was sitting by having my wife sit down and then I would sit down and she would take the photo by hitting the shutter for me, or I would allow her to try to focus it herself. And it's something new, um, using a waste viewfinder. So it is a little tougher and I'm probably not the steadiest person sitting still when she's focusing. And then I probably move a little bit. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, things are going to be out of focus here or there. Um, typically, I would shoot at F8 or higher when I am uh, shooting outdoors. And I'll probably keep that in mind next time I do some self-portraits to bring in more light and to shoot at probably like F5.6 or higher to make sure that the depth of field isn't super shallow. Because with the camera being close and then being at 2.8, the depth of field is going to be super shallow and narrow and you're not going to have a lot of wiggle room. So that's my explanation for that. I'm not trying to make any excuses, just what it is. Um, so here we go. So one thing I will say I really like about Cine Still 400D is the true color renditions. Um, there's not really any hues of like Fuji greens or Kodak, um, like that warmer tone that Kodak gives off. I feel like it's just pretty natural. Um, I did shoot most of these with a constant video light that I use for my videos, but I also did use um, my back door um, and getting that natural light that was coming through on a couple of them in the dining room area. So with that said, I hope you liked this short video. If you have any questions about the camera or the film, let me know in the comments below and I will see you all next time. I try, I